Hello and welcome to Piano Workout 1. Uh, today I'm going to be starting off with a really simple exercise for you. Uh, we're going to be focusing to start with on our right hand and we're going to be starting on the note C. Now the idea is that uh, when you're playing along at home you should be trying to see if you can copy what I'm doing okay and if at any point you feel like you're struggling a little bit pause the video find your feet or find out where you are on the keyboard or the piano and then you can pick up again so in this case we're going to be starting off with our thumb our first finger on middle c we're then going to be going up a step to d and we're then going to be going up another step to e all right so that's a fairly simple series of notes and you're going to be going c d Alright, and we're going to try and keep that pattern going, C, D, E, making sure, if we can, that we're using the right fingers. So for some of you, that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but for the rest of you, think, oh, that's pretty simple. Uh, now, you're going to notice that I'm using my left hand and my right hand for these exercises. In the first case, I just want you to see if you can focus on what my right hand's doing, okay? Because my left hand is actually going to be keeping time, all right? It's going to be acting as a bit of an accompaniment. Okay, so starting off with our thumb, our first finger, I would like to see if you can find the note C. I'm starting on middle C over here, and I'm going to be playing a really short pattern which goes C, D, E. All right, so we're going starting on C with our first finger. We're then going to go up a step to D with our second finger and then up another step to E with our third finger. Okay, so on the count of four, I'd like to see if we can do that pattern of three notes together. Here we go. One, two, three, and C, D, E. Again, we're going to go C, D, E third time C D E and for the fourth time C D E well done okay now I'd like to see if we can do that again and this time I want to see if you can concentrate on what you're doing whilst I put in a little bass line in the left hand so we're going to go again on the count of four starting on the note C and if you're struggling to find the note C, remember you can always look at our video um, about music notation and just finding out where you are on your instrument. Okay, so here we go. Starting on C, on the count of four. One, two, three, four. C, D, E. And for the second time, C, D, E. For the third time, C. if we can move on to the next pattern. Now, the idea is that when you are playing on the piano, you may be familiar with the, uh, familiar with the idea that your fingers are all uh, numbered. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. And that helps you to place your hand on the keys, uh, get into the right position. So now if you've got your one on C, I want to see if you can find the note G, which you're gonna play with your fifth finger, with your little finger, all right? So again, if you're struggling to find that, look at our piano chord chart, see if you can find the note. But we're going to be using those two notes, C and G. We're going to be doing it in a nice, simple way. We're going to be going C, two, three, four, G, two, three, and again, C, two, three, four, G, two, three, Four, and we're going to keep that going for 16 bars. Okay, so finding your note C with your first finger. Are you ready? Here we go. And one, two, three, four. C, two, three, four. G, two, three. Back to C. C, two, three, four. G, and back to C. Well done. 
Now, what I'm doing is I'm trying to give you building blocks that eventually will give you a whole little piece of music. All right. So we're going to build on now what we did in the first pattern, which was C, D, E. All right. But this time I'd like to see if you can go C, D, E, C. Okay. So it's just a little bit more tricky because you're going to be moving your fingers a little bit faster. All right. So we'll try it once through without the left hand, that without the accompaniment. Here we go. On the count of four. One, two, three, and C, D, E, C. For the second time, you're going to go C, D, E, C. And you're going to keep that going again. C, D, E, C. For the last time, C, D, E, C. Okay, I think you're getting the hang of this now. So with the accompaniment, here we go. On the count of four. One, two, three, four. C, D, E, C. C, D, E, C. C, D, E, C. C, D, E, C. C. All right, so I think you're starting to get the idea of where I'm going with this. I'm using each pattern as we go along to build on the skills that you've already got. And so that brings us to our fourth pattern. All right. So you've had uh, C, D, E. Then we did C, G. Then we increased the pattern for the third round. We went C, D, E, C. So now for the fourth pattern, I'd like to see if you can go C, G. And for some of you, that's probably going to be the trickiest pattern. Because if you look at what I'm doing with my right hand, I'm using my first finger on, on C. I'm using my fifth finger on G. And then I'm using my third finger on E. All right. So for some of you, you may want to pause the video, see if you can find your notes, and then build on that. So we're going to go C, G, B. Okay. And again, C, G. Notice we're still doing this in our 16 bar pattern, and then for the last time, we're going to go C, G, E. All right, so should we see if we can put all those patterns together? All right, uh, we're going to try and see if we can go all the way through from the first pattern to the fourth pattern on the count of four, starting with nice and simple. C, D, and E. Here we go. One, two, three, four. C, D, E. C, D, E. C, D, E. C, D. Now we're going to go on to the next pattern, which is C, D, E. 